welcome back to my channel my name is crystal griffin and today i'm doing another what i eat in a day but tonight i'm meal prepping and i'm going to show you all the different foods i'm going to make for breakfast lunch and dinner so let's get started so for breakfast today i'm going to be making overnight oats and it's one of the easiest meals to make and it's very simple so if you're on the go you should really eat overnight oats because you just make it and you set it in the refrigerator for like 12 to 24 hours and you take it out and you go with you so the things that we need for the overnight oats you need old-fashioned oats you need your own milk and i use oatmeal because it makes the oatmeal more creamy some brown sugar chia seeds vanilla extract and maple syrup <laughs> everything together and I'm about to go sit in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours whenever I wake up and I'm going to eat this with some bananas on top but you can make overnight oats with anything you can do pumpkin pie spice you can do cocoa powder make it chocolatey you can make overnight oats any type of way so I really do recommend this one because it's really quick it took me about five minutes to make and then it, you can take it on the go so so this is what the overnight oat looks like it's super thick i gotta stir it around and then i'm gonna plate it so this is the final product of the overnight oats i have bananas on the side cinnamon sugar and uh, brown sugar on the other side it came out really well and i can't wait to eat this i'm super happy so if you like this please continue for lunch <laughs> For lunch and dinner, I have a lot of vegetables. I have the clean and cut. I have broccoli, zucchini, bell peppers, cilantro, green onions, real bell peppers, kale. I have a lot of vegetables in here and I have to prep them all for the week. So for lunch today, we're gonna be making stuffed zucchini and stuffed bell peppers. And you can make this as a low carb meal or a whole food plant-based meal or just a vegan meal in general. The low carb way is that when you just use ground beef or ground turkey, but eliminate the rice. And then the whole food plant-based or vegan way is when you add the rice, you can add quinoa, you can add vegetables, and then you um, bake them. So the first part is that me and my mother are gonna cut up the zucchini and cut up the bell peppers to get them in like a boat form so you can stuff them. And then we're gonna bake the bell pepper and the zucchini on like 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. <music> now my mother's gonna try doing the zucchini and bell pepper. <laughs> peppers and zucchinis cut in half and as a boat form so we can stuff them but we're about to bake them first with aluminum foil on top on 400 degrees for 30 minutes so now i'm going to make the stuffing for the zucchini and the bell peppers and what i use is the smart ground plant-based crumbles and these are literally so good i literally put these on pizza and i use it as like a ground beef so i'm going to add this as like our meat substitute and then i'm going to add black beans because you need a little bean a day in one of your foods and then I'm going to add some quinoa and a little bit of lemon and nothing from the zucchini and mix it up and then stuff the bell pepper and zucchini in it. My garlic minced and onion already um, cooking so now I'm about to add all the other ingredients to stuff the zucchini and bell pepper. <music> just for cooking for 30 minutes in the oven so and they're starting to get a little crispy around the ends right here so I'm actually gonna like put them back in there for another 30 minutes I'm super excited I've been cooking these bell peppers and zucchini for an hour now and they're starting to get crispy so now I'm about to stuff them my family really loves this extra crisp on them so I'm so happy with the way it came out <laughs> Now that I have 
I've stuffed all the bell peppers and zucchini. I'm going to bake them in the oven for 400 on 400 degrees for 30 minutes and then, then they will be done. These ones are a little bit darker because they're seasoned with smoked paprika. And then these ones are not seasoned with smoked paprika. And then I even have baby ones in here for my niece because she eats this as well as um, the rest of my family does. I'm going to add some cheese on top of these and then these will not have cheese on them. So for lunch, this is what the final product looks like. I have two bell peppers and two zucchini stuff. These are made with smoked paprika and these are just regular. In reality, I would not eat all four of these. I would only eat two of them. But I just want to show you the different variations of what they look like. I'm super excited about dinner. We are making a coconut curry soup over white rice and I have never made coconut curry soup, but I like to try new things and I like to try to um, incorporate a new thing in every week. So the coconut curry soup consists of the potatoes that's already been washed and cut. We have Yukon potatoes, corn, green onions, cilantro, we have some limes, red bell pepper, zucchini, coconut milk, curry red paste, soy sauce, chili garlic sauce, but this is extremely hot, so I literally only use like a teaspoon of this garlic sauce, and then some brown sugar at the back. We're gonna mix all of this into the Instapot and cook it for about 10 minutes, and then that's, that's how quick this soup will be made. <laughs> cook this for about 10 minutes and come back and check it so I'm about to just put this on top so yeah I'm super excited because the coconut curry soup actually came out good which is like like I said this is my first time making it so this is what it looks like right here and I did not cook the zucchini with the um, soup because the zucchini cooks too quickly for me and I still like that crunch in the zucchini so I'm about to add it in the soup since the soup was already done. After the soup was done, I did add some additional seasonings. I added the garlic pepper seasoning and the lemon pepper seasoning. Then I added some more garlic powder and onion powder. The only thing I would do differently is that I cooked up this soup on 10 minutes. I would actually cook this soup the next time I do it on like seven minutes because the potatoes really cooked down and made more like a soupy mix and I would rather have the potatoes whole. But for my first time making it, I'm like super excited because it really does taste good. Even though it's not the most aesthetically pleasing soup, it is really, really good. So I'm gonna show you the end product very soon. <laughs> okay, so this is what the final product ended up looking like. I eat a lot, so that's why I have so much soup in here. But yep, this is the final product and I'm gonna enjoy this for dinner. This is the end of the What I Eat in a Day and I'm just so glad that you stay tuned and watch my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you have new suggestions that you would like me to make or try, please let me know. And if you like these type of video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching me because I truly enjoy making these videos. So thank you. Have a great day.